Hey y'all cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Listen, in my kitchen tonight, I'm still trying to do it healthier and I'm trying to watch my Weight Watcher points, but I love, love fettuccine Alfredo. It's one of my favorites. It's one of my weaknesses for sure. So, you know, in craving that, I decided to do a rendition of it, but to keep it healthier. So I have taken a spaghetti squash before I went on my walk, Nancy. Thank you for motivating me this week. Um, and I put just a tiny, tiny bit of olive oil on the uh, inside of these spaghetti squash and some Paula Deen seasoning. I baked them while I was gone on my walk um, on 400 for 40 minutes. I'm going to uh, take a fork. Oh, God, that's hot. Hang on. I'm going to take a fork and get the spaghetti squash. Daggummit. Let me grab another fork. That's hot. Hang on. This is the keeping it real part. My hair's the keeping it real part, too, because it was windy today. Beautiful, but windy. Anyway, I'm going to take the spaghetti squash out of this. Look, I don't even know the terminology on this healthy food, okay? The spaghetti squash out of it, the pulp, I don't know what it is. But anyway, it tastes good. And I'm going to give up nine points for my dish tonight. I have um, marinated chicken breasts in um, fat-free Italian dressing today. And I put a half a packet of Italian seasoning in it. Um, actually, Italian dressing, the dry stuff. Because sometimes I don't feel like the chicken gets enough flavor with just the um, fat-free Italian. So it's going to have some flavor tonight. Anyway, um, I have also um, put a tablespoon of butter and two fairly, I don't know, decent size, not huge, cloves of garlic that I mince um, on the stove. And I'm going to add that to my spaghetti squash tonight and make it sort of a fettuccine alfredo by adding um, a couple of ounces of Parmesan cheese. Now, um, it's four ounces, excuse me, four points per ounce for the Parmesan cheese. So, I'm breaking that down for a serving. I, I think the spaghetti squash, and I'm guessing, so, you know, don't hold me to it. But anyway, anything's healthier than the way I was eating. But anyway, um, I am going to count that as nine points for the butter and the Parmesan cheese. And then I'm going to tear the chicken up and kind of toss it in there. And that's going to be my healthier rendition of sort of an Alfredo. I'm not going to have any cream sauce or anything, but I think it's going to be pretty good. I'll let you know. And I'll show you a picture. I also took five apples and peeled those because I'm a sweet tooth girl. And, um, I put just a tiny bit of water over those, just enough to barely cover them, and I've cooked them in a pot on the stove and added about a teaspoon of cinnamon, so that's zero points. So that's going to be my sweet tooth thing for dinner tonight. Okay, so there we have it, the spaghetti squash. Okay, now I will take the butter and the minced garlic. Look, sometimes I hesitate to show y'all this on my blog because I'm not really used to it. Stuff I usually show on my blog, it's like second nature. Just put it together, you know. Anyway, I'm going to give that a toss. Actually, one of my followers on my cooking blog when I did the spaghetti squash with the marinara over told me to try it this way. So... I love trade recipes with people. All right, there's my Parmesan cheese. And then I'm gonna layer this, put this in my bowl with my chicken on top. I'm gonna have a salad and some cooked apples. So that's what I'm doing in my kitchen tonight. Parmesan, garlic, spaghetti squash. I'll let you know how it turns out and I'll show a picture of it plated up. Have a good one, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real.